Hello there and a very good morning and welcome to the Divine Community of Love. My name is Jason Bryce and I'm delighted to be with you this morning to guide you through your chakras. We're going to have a chakra morning this morning, all things chakras. Um, when we record this, it's recording just now, so is anyone can view it at any point. Um, there's going to be some healing involved, as always, when we do some meditation work. And I'm, I'm going to do a few theta downloads connected with each of the chakras as we work through our chakras, bringing them into perfect balance and alignment in this beautiful Sunday morning. So very happy Mother's Day to you and um, wishing Mother Earth a very happy Mother's Day as well, of course, and all the beautiful beings on our planet, a really wonderful, beautiful, blessed and bright Sunday. I hope that you enjoy. Um, we're going to begin by just doing a little bit of uh, meditation, um, some breathing. And um, what I thought we'd do is just begin by following the circuit of the breath. So we're just following the breath in through our nostrils and back out through our mouth. And just taking a few moments to notice that gentle circuit of breath. As we inhale through the nostrils, feeling the chest gently rise and fall, the in and out breath. And releasing the breath through the mouth, allowing your jaw to relax, allowing all the muscles of your body to relax more and more with the each out breath. And being aware of the support from the chair and being aware of your feet on the ground. Taking a slightly deeper breath into the tummy now. And as you exhale, just allowing your body to relax that a little bit more. Really noticing the support of the chair and the ground underfoot. That's wonderful. And we're going to deepen the breath a little bit more. A little technique we call the 528 breath. And what we do is we inhale through our nostrils for five, hold the breath for two, and then release all the air in your lungs for eight. And taking a deep breath in through your nostrils again for five, deep into your tummy. Holding the breath for two. And now releasing the air, the breath for eight. Releasing any residual air from your lungs. Taking a really deep breath in through your nostrils, deep into your tummy, deep into your centre. Holding the breath for two. And releasing all the residual air for eight. Allowing you to do the five to eight breath in your own time for a few more moments.
taking a few more deep five to eight breaths Allow your body just to release any tension with that out breath. Allow the muscles to relax a little bit further. We're clearing any stale or stagnant energies this morning with the five to eight breath. And after your next out breath, allow your breathing to return to normal. Again, just following the normal circuit of breath, in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. And taking a moment just to notice how our body feels. Noticing if we're holding on to any tension in any part of our body. And just taking a few moments to Allow ourselves to feel that and breathe into it. And notice it soften with each out breath. all the muscles of your head and your face to relax, all those little muscles around your eyes, on your forehead to relax, allowing any tension, any lines of tension to just dissolve. Feel that relaxation extend down into your jaw, allowing all the muscles of the neck to relax. Awareness onto your shoulders and allowing your shoulders just to soften and relax with the out breath. And bring your awareness down into your arms, into the muscles of the arms, allowing them to soften and relax. And feeling your elbows and your wrists nice and soft, nice and supple. your hands to relax. Bring your awareness into your back, the upper back, underneath the shoulder blades, your middle back and your lower back and just breathing into any tension that remains. Being aware of your chest and your heart. And bring your awareness into your digestive system, into your stomach, down into your torso, gently breathing into any tension that remains. Bringing your awareness down into your hips now. And into the strong muscles of the legs, the thigh muscles to relax as you breathe into any tension. Feel that relaxation extend down into your knees, allowing them to be nice and soft. And now down into the calf muscles, the shins. Feeling your ankles nice and soft. Being aware of your feet, allowing your toes to spread out. Feel the roof of each foot beginning to relax. And paying attention to the contact between your feet and the ground below. Imagining that your feet are gently sinking into the earth.
I'm going to imagine a tap root grow from each foot. And I invite you to take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, just imagine that those tap roots are growing down into the soil, into the earth. And imagine them, those roots like big, strong dandelion roots going down through the soil, through the harder soils of the earth, through the rocks, the crystals, the minerals, the elements. Imagine your roots growing down through all the layers of the earth and into the very heart of Mother Earth. That's beautiful. Just take a moment just to notice your vibration beginning to shift. To a safe, grounded space as we connect with the Earth this morning. We're going to take a few deep breaths and as we inhale we'll imagine that we're pulling the energy from the center of the earth up through our roots and feeling that energy beginning to travel into your feet and gently travel up your legs the energy may feel quite viscous quite fluid like the feet may feel tingly you may experience a gentle coolness. Imagine that you're breathing up through your roots. And with every breath, you're pulling more earth energy up into the body, which is flowing automatically up into your legs. Imagine that you're pulling that energy further up your legs. Deep breaths always help just to pull a little more earth energy. Imagine that earth energy flowing into your hips. And imagine now the earth energy flowing into the base of your spine. Imagine that you're able to pull that energy up through the vertebrae through all the chakras and imagine the earth energy flowing up your spine automatically flowing up to your crown and at the same time feeling that energy flow across your shoulders down your arms and out of your hands I invite you to take another deep breath, pulling some more up energy as we breathe in through our roots, pulling the energy up and feel it just flow automatically now from your feet all the way up to your crown. Let's take one more deep breath together, pulling the energy as we breathe in through our roots and feeling that vibrant energy now flow all through the body, through every cell. That's beautiful. Thanks, everyone. We're going to bring our attention now to the base of the spine and the base chakra. And we're going to imagine a glowing ball of light beginning to spin clockwise at your base chakra. You may feel this vortex of energy spin clockwise, being aware of it at the base chakra. I'm going to breathe into that energy and expand that energy. And we're going to imagine anything red, like a pillar box red or the red from a rainbow. And as you breathe in to that vortex of energy, that glowing ball spinning your base chakra, imagine it turn red. Imagine it turn deep, vibrant red. 
imagine that energy beginning to expand. The energy of the base chakra expanding into the whole body. Into all the cells. And if you see any darker splodges, less bright, keep breathing into your base chakra. And imagine that vibrant red expand. Fill your whole visual field. This chakra represents the element of earth. And its attributes include fearlessness and stillness. And as we breathe into our base chakra this morning, with your permission, I'm going to download the qualities of fearlessness and stillness into the base chakra and every part of us on every level. base chakra allows us to feel truly supported by life. And if I may download this into your base chakra and into every part of you, what it feels like to be supported by life. Base chakra regulates your adrenals. And if I may just do a little balance to your adrenals this morning. The hormones, receptors, and all the cells of the adrenals. And our base chakra supplies the muscles with blood and allows us to move forward. In life, if I may download what it feels like to move forward with ease and with grace. If I may download what it feels like to have energy. And live without feeling exhausted. And with each of the chakras, we have a little affirmation. And if you'd like to just affirm to yourself three times, I am safe and grounded. I am safe. And grounded. I am safe and grounded. That's beautiful. And let's take a deep breath together, pulling up some more earth energy as we inhale. Feeling that energy now beginning to transfer up into the second chakra, into the sacral chakra. And we're going to imagine a beautiful ball, a glowing ball of light spinning clockwise. And we feel that energy at your navel beginning to spin clockwise as you open your sacral chakra. As you open yourself up to the pleasures of life. And as you breathe into your sacral, imagine orange, anything orange, like an orange or a tangerine. And imagine that little vortex of energy that's spinning clockwise. 
beginning to expand and glow with that orange colour. If you see any darker splodges, patches, keep breathing into the sacral chakra until you feel it expand and your whole visual field beginning to glow with that orange colour. The sacral chakra literally means sweetness. It's all about the sweetness of life. And it's governed by the element of water, connected to emotion. And especially peaceful emotions. As you breathe into your sacral and feel that vortex expand, expand into all the cells of your body, you may even feel the vortex spin around your entire body just now and you may feel the energy fill the room. Let's download what it feels like to enjoy the sweetness of life and download I am sweet. As we breathe into that spinning vortex of light, let's remember that the sacral chakra is about fun, sensuality, creativity, play, we could call it the pleasure center. Downloading what it feels like to have fun. To your sacral and on every level. What it is to experience the pleasures and joy of life. What it is to be creative. Express our creativity with ease and grace. The sacral chakra gives us a sense of movement and balance, allowing us to flow with grace and ease. Sacral chakra also governs the sexual hormones. If I may do a little hormonal balance for everyone this morning. And the sacral chakra governs our lower digestive system, just bringing some gentle healing into the digestive system this morning. And we're going to affirm three times. I enjoy the pleasures of life. I enjoy the pleasures of life. I enjoy the pleasures of life. Beautiful. I'm taking another deep breath, pulling the earth energy back up into our body and allowing it to flow up into the third chakra, our solar plexus. And imagining that glowing ball of light now beginning to gently spin clockwise. 
as we open the solar plexus. Feeling that energy expand in the center of your chest where your rib cage meets. And imagine in sunshine yellow, the color of the solar plexus. Imagine your glowing ball of light begin to fill with the sunshine yellow. It's a beautiful sunny morning. You're feeling that energy begin to expand. You may experience a little rub as the chakra spins clockwise. And imagine this energy flowing into all the cells of the body and even extending outward. Is that you're surrounded with that yellow vortex of light. The solar plexus are governed by the element of fire, passion, and its attributes include personal energy and power. So we breathe into our solar plexus this morning, if I may download what it feels like to connect to our personal energy and power, is to feel energised and powerful. as well as regulating our digestive system. The solar plexus help us concentrate, remember, study and learn effectively. If I may download what all that feels like as we open our solar plexus. The solar plexus are all about knowing yourself better. Which allows us to create healthy boundaries with the world. Make healthy ch choices as we stand in our power. Its attributes include bravery, bravery and it's often known as the warrior chakra. So as you breathe into that sunshine yellow, let's download what it feels like to know ourselves, what it feels like to be confident and believe in ourselves, to recognize our value and self-worth, and what it is to feel brave or have courage. And the energies that block your solar plexus are shame and guilt. So if I may clear any shame and guilt that's stored in your solar plexus at the moment, all you have to do is witness the clearing. And we're going to affirm three times. I am strong and know my worth. I am strong and know my worth. I am strong and know my worth. Beautiful. Just taking another breath and breathing up more of energy up into our body and feel that flow now into your beautiful heart space. Imagining that glowing ball of light beginning to spin clockwise in your heart. 
and feeling that vortex of energy beginning to expand out into your body and perhaps beyond you may feel yourself to be in that little vortex of energy let's imagine anything that's green and the beautiful fresh leaves on the trees during early spring the heart chakra is represented by the element of air and the heart chakra allows us to embrace the world it's all about love compassion kindness, empathy, acceptance, unconditional love, freedom, expansion and growth. And as you breathe into your heart chakra and feel it spin, if I may download all those attributes into your beautiful heart, and download them on every level. The heart chakra allows us to follow our path, to follow our heart, literally, in life. That's beautiful. And we're going to affirm three times, I am love. And I am loving. I am love and I am loving. I am love. Beautiful, thanks everyone. Let's take another deep breath together, breathing in through our roots, pulling more earth energy up and allowing it to flow directly into the throat chakra. Have a little swallow, have a little cough just to relax your throat and imagine that beautiful vortex of energy, that glowing light beginning to spin at your throat chakra now. Throat chakra is sky blue. And let's imagine that sky blue colour fill that little vortex of energy as it spins clockwise. Breathing into the throat chakra, allowing it to expand, allowing it to open. And feeling the energy now flowing into all the cells of the body. You may even feel that vortex of energy could be spinning all around you just now. A beautiful sky blue colour. Throat chakra is connected to unconditional truth. The manifestation of communication and creativity. The throat chakra is our voice and allows us to be heard by others. It allows us to speak up in a smooth, confident manner. In an authentic way. very much linked to our values and beliefs. If I may download all those qualities into your throat chakra, what it feels like to speak up in a smooth, confident and authentic way. what it is to be heard and what it is to listen compassionately to others as they speak. What it is to openly express our truth with ease and grace.
and we're going to thrum together three times. I speak and express my truth openly. I speak and express my truth openly. speak and express my truth openly. It's beautiful. Thanks, everyone. We're taking another deep breath, breathing in through our roots again. We're almost there. Bringing that energy right up now into the brow, into the third eye, the inner eye. And just imagining a little ball of light glowing and spinning clockwise gently on your brow. And you may literally feel the rub as the vortex spins clockwise between your eyes. You may have a sense as well that vortex is spinning at the back of the fog eye like a new gland. And let's imagine a beautiful purple colour like lavender. Amethyst, lilac, breathing in, oh, my. allowing it to open, allowing it to expand, allowing the vortex to spin clockwise. Being aware of that energy in your whole body, and feeling the energy all around you expanding into the room. Third eye represents the word command. It's about intention. Third eye is beyond wisdom. Its attributes include unconditional truth, instinct, insight, and imagination. And downloading what it feels like. To know the truth. To know the highest perspective of truth. What it feels like to discern truth. What it feels like to use an imagination positively. And that it's safe to be in tune. I'm going to affirm three times. I know who I am and trust my intuition. I know who I am and trust my intuition. I know who I am and trust my intuition. Bringing up some more earth energy through our roots for the last time. Imagine that you're breathing up through your roots, pulling that energy from the earth below up into the body, feeling it flow all the way up to the crown, and imagining that glowing ball of light beginning to spin clockwise on your crown. Again, you may be aware of the rub as it spins clockwise. Imagine pure light. Imagine a lotus flower open with its petals gently unfolding. Or imagine pure, brilliant snow. As you breathe into that vortex of energy, feel it expand into your entire body. And feel it flow into the auric field all around you, gently spinning clockwise. If you see any darker splodges or patches, breathing in, breathing into that vortex until it's pure brilliant white. A 
chakra and chakra is pure consciousness. Beyond ego, it is our connection to divine. As you breathe into your crown chakra, you want to do a special healing for your brain, regulated by the crown chakra, balancing the right and left brain, and bringing your nervous system into harmony with a small level. As the crown chakra regulates your brain function, it controls the endocrine system and the cerebral cortex, the grey matter. Crown chakra represents your unity, enlightenment, freedom from all suffering, the secrets of who we are. Who we are beyond the illusion of attachment. Let's download what all that feels like. Enlightenment, that we know who we are. And that we are truly connected to divine at all times and divine is connected to us. Bringing your awareness now back down to your feet. We're going to take a deep breath and just send our energy back into the earth. Imagine that your energy is flowing from your crown all the way down your body, down through your feet, down into the earth below, again through all the layers of the earth, through the minerals, the elements, the crystals into the heart of Gaia. And I invite you to take a few more final deep breaths, just bringing that earth energy back up into our body, grounding in all the healing. Take a few deep breaths. Notice and how your body feels and just when you're ready, bringing a little gentle movement into your body, wiggling your toes, fingers, giving your arms a little rub, maybe having a nice big stretch, first thing in the morning, that's beautiful, thank you so much everyone, hope you enjoyed that. And all the little extra theta downloads. Uh, drink plenty of water today, and uh, we know that we are truly in balance. <laughs> Thanks, Patricia. Thanks so much for inviting me on uh, today to talk about the chakras and do a nice meditation. Mm -hmm. Hope that you was wonderful, Jason. Really enjoyed that. Wow, not quite back yet, but. Uh... Mm -hmm. I think I'm speaking on behalf of everybody. That was yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. That's oh, what I needed. You're welcome, Susan. It's lovely <laughs> to see you this well, and I hope you have an amazing day, a lovely <laughs> afternoon. Thank you so much. You look so chilled. Uh, <laughs> you went nice and deep there. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. You have lots of energy to enjoy your day, of course. Mm -hmm. And Hazel, lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us live. It's been awesome. You Thank know? you very much. It was lovely. Excellent. Excellent. So everything's in balance. Everything is, well, everything is harmonised. I prefer that term. Balance always kind of requires effort, just like riding a bike. You've got to keep <laughs> pedalling. So let's just say that we're in harmony. Um, 
we're all in harmony. I hope you have a beautiful day. Jason, on my screen, I can kind of see like snowflakes, not just quite snow, but just <laughs> things moving backwards and forwards. Yeah, we've got little things. I've got little things on our window. Um, and when I have the windows open, they, they do, they spin. Sparkles, yeah. I call them. <laughs> yeah, it's snowing. It I can it see that. It it really <laughs> <spin. Well, laughs> never make, thought of it that way sure. before. <laughs> Lovely. Bring the sparkle in. And <laughs> there's some prisms there as well. So when the sun comes around, you get little rainbows all over oh. the room as well, which is lovely. lovely. Yay. Um, no. oh. and, I, and I was thinking it was the divine. Of Thank you so much indeed. I will uh, upload the video when I return from the beach. Actually, I'm going to the beach today. Uh, to enjoy a last really proper warm day. I hope you have a lovely day in nature and um, thanks for connecting in. Um, take a little bit more time and certainly have a glass of water uh, before you go about your business and have the best day, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.